Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Color Club. It's a mystery and I'll be using the veil tint technique. I've started this manicure off with a peel off base coat called Peel Ease and this is by um, made by It's Me Karen 99. I'll leave a link for her down below. But I'm going to do a couple of coats of this and then I'm going to get started in on the manicure. And here is the color club. It's a mystery, just a beautiful purple hollow. If you've got another beautiful purple hollow in your collection, you do not necessarily have to run out and get this one, but I have it, so I'm gonna use it. It's got a really good formula. Mine's a little bit thick, and I think I might just add a couple of drops of thinner to it if I break it out you know, anytime soon to use, um, or next time I use it. Um, it was kind of a little bit stringy, but not bad. It wasn't anything bad. And I might could have gotten away with one coat, but meh. So you can kind of see it getting a little stringy on that tip. So we're going to go ahead and do a second coat of this one. Of course, Woody's got to jump out here and help me real quick. And while I'm doing the second coat, I would like to talk about this veil technique. I saw Galeen do it, and then Galeen said that she saw Colette do it, and then Colette said she saw Jessica's Perfect 10 Custom Nails do it. So I've gone and watched everybody's videos, and I thought, well, you know, that looks really interesting. I'm going to try it. So, But I want to give credit where credit is due. You know, I wanted y'all to see my chain of events and how I got here. This is not something I came up with. I did not come up with this. I'm just giving it a stab. And you guys are going to get to see me do a little bit of trial and error with it today. But I would like to thank these three ladies for inspiring me and, you know, showing us how they do it and how this is to be done. So, thank you, gals. I'm going to top this manicure off with some of the Pro FX quick dry top coat and get it to dry down before I do the water veil technique on this. Um, you know, you want to start off with something really nice and dry so that when you get into doing that water dipping, you're, you're, you're ready for it, you know. This is a beautiful polish. I picked it up at my local Walmart. I believe mine was like $6.44, something like that. So, um, Anyway, I will also be using this one called Enchanted, all upside down. And it's also one of the new um, Color Club hollows that I found at Walmart. I've got some room temperature water, and I'm putting one drop of Enchanted in the water. And I'm blowing on the top just a hair to let it dry, just a little bit. You don't want it totally dry, but you don't want it still tacky, tacky, tacky wet. It's kind of tricky, and you will see because there are going to be some that I don't use. I'm going to take these two toothpicks, and I'm going to just start smishing it in from the inside, or from the outside in. And you got to be kind of careful pulling these off of these toothpicks. Um, they're wanting to stick a little bit, but look, I got it. Yay. This first one turned out really nice. And I'm going to turn the cup. I do have on some liquid latex, by the way. You can see I did my thumb already on that hand. And you just dip down in. And this isn't the only design. Um, when I watched Jessica do it, she did, um, hers was more abstract and like petal-like. And But mine, this, this look that I did kind of looked like butterflies to me. And um, I'm going to kind of mush this down to make sure that when I do my cleanup and pull up that latex, that I don't pull off any of that polish off of my designed nail. I don't want to lose any of that. So I'm taking that clear end of the cuticle pusher and I'm just kind of kind of breaking that to where it's separated from the design. And then what you're going to do next, I'm going to take some of my acetone and my cleanup brush and just run it around that edge real quick. And I know that sounds silly with using latex and all, but whatever, you know. It is what it is, you know. And now I'm going to take my tweezers and pull this latex off. And you can see I've still got some underneath there, but that's okay. We're going to get it. I couldn't do my snap and break tonight, today for some reason. It's really kind of hard to see. I know I didn't pick, well, I picked colors that were contrasting, but with the light on that hollow, it just, it just wasn't working. So we're going to do this again. Um, I'm going to tell you a little trick that I do when I'm learning something new or practicing something for the first time. 
I like to just start off with accent nails. That way if I get aggravated with it, I don't end up with a half done mani. So today I'm doing these designs on my thumbs and my ring fingers only. That way, you know, if it gets to be too much for me at one time, I can just kind of, you know, move on. Okay, I didn't like that one, so we're going to do it again. See, that's how you do it. That's just a little handy tip from Tina. You know, one of those things that I do because I know that learning any new technique and sometimes even playing with old ones, it can be very frustrating. So if you start off by doing like just your ring finger, then that way if you get aggravated with it, you can just stop and you can say, oh, look at my accent nail. <laughs> and I like that. So there we go. We've pinched them together again. And this one just didn't have the butterfly look to it. It looked more like a petal or something. And I'm trying to kind of open it up. Nope, I'm going to pull that one out and scratch it. But you know, it's one drop at a time. So I'm not too freaked out about the waste end of this. Uh, you know, it's, it's not terrible. It's not like I built a ring up of like 20 drops and trashed it. But anywho, that's my thinking on it. And when I watched Jessica do it on her channel, she was using wet Q-tips um, to do hers instead of the toothpicks. But, you know, I'm a toothpick fanatic. I use them a lot um, in nail art. So uh, I just, I don't know. I just went back to my comfortable thing, my toothpicks. Trying to make sure it's not touching the side of the cup. There we go. And I just blow on it just a little bit. You can see it move. See my hair sticking down in there. I'm trying to get hair in it. And then we're going to smoosh it in. And la la la. So see, I want you guys to see the realness. I left all of this in here because I wanted you guys to see that um, we all struggle sometimes with our nail art. And it's just how bad do you want it? Do you want to keep trying? You want to keep playing? See, I don't look at it like it's work. I look at it like it's fun. So I just keep trying and keep playing until I get it. But I am like the rest of you. I do get frustrated with my nail art sometimes. Like I said, that's why I do accent nails sometimes. But um, I really wanted to do this. I saw it done and I wanted to do it. And I made up my mind I was going to do this. So there we go. I think I've got another one that I like. And I'm going to go in on my ring finger on my other hand. Because I am doing this mani on both hands. Okay, got to got to figure out which way I want the cup. And ta-da, dip. And then I'm just kind of mashing it down a little bit. So that it sticks. Ta -ta -da. But I really did like this, and I think there's a lot of variety that you could do with it. It don't all have to look like butterflies. I would really encourage you to go check out what Galene did, what Colette did, and what Jessica has done. I will leave links to their videos down below for you to go check out if you'd like to go, you know, see this or, you know, check this out a little further. I'm sure that there's going to be a lot more of this um, out on YouTube. It's um, it's the new thing, so at least it was new to me. And here we go. Snap! Yay! Oh, snap! I got that one to snap. I'm so happy. So, I'm doing a little bit of cleanup with some acetone on my cleanup brush. And we're going to, you know, get this one tidied up so that we can, you know, finish it off. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do next. Oh, big old chunk there. There we go. Get that off of there. So there we go. We got my ring and my thumb done. I'm going to use some of these little like diamond shaped metal studs um, to make them look more like butterflies. <laughs> and like I said, I realize these colors are hard to see, but there's no turning back now. We've already been on this far. Um, I just thought I would go ahead and share it. So I've put down a coat of posh top coat and I've put a little bit on my little woody stick and I'm just placing that little stud right there to where it looks like it's the butterfly's body and I'm tapping it down make sure it's sticking really nice and I got one on my thumb too and I am going to cover these with some Pro FX quick dry top coat and try to make them you know hang on for a minute <laughs> for a couple of days 
And I did use that Peelies top coat on this manicure. It was the first manicure that I used it on. And I wore this manicure for four days, which is really doing good for me in a peel-off base. So I will be giving you updates on that peel-off base as we move along using it. Uh, so far, I am super impressed. And there's our Woody guy. He came to visit again. So I will have a swatch photo of this here at the end. And like I said, it's really hard to see and I apologize. But I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.